What's up everyone and welcome back to the Brewers franchise in MLB The Show 17 as the Brewers will be hosting the Colorado Rockies on opening day. Colorado coming off a relatively successful season where they almost made the playoffs facing off against Milwaukee who is expected to be a bottom feeder in the NL. It's still an interesting matchup because of the similarities between these two teams. Milwaukee's got a lot of very interesting offensive players. Colorado always has a very productive offensive team. But neither of these teams really have the pitching talent that's required to be a contender in today's MLB environment. And this is the kind of team that you're going to try to aim for winning against if you're Milwaukee. A team that's not very talented, that's not going to contend for an NL Central title, but can maybe compete against these teams that are of a little higher talent level, maybe outside shot playoff hopefuls, who aren't guaranteed to win the division, but maybe wildcard contenders, teams like Colorado, Arizona, Miami, Pittsburgh, just a few teams like that that are a little bit lower level than like the Cubs and Cardinals and the Mets, but you know, a team that Milwaukee could conceivably beat. Anyway, Junior Guerra strikes out Charlie Blackman to open the game and the 2017 MLB season is underway for the Brewers as Junior Guerra did make the cut as the opening day starter. He's the best pitcher on the team. And Nolan Arenado is getting his season started off early as he's going to double this one to the right field corner. Domingo Santana is going to have to chase it and he will throw it to the cutoff man but not before Arenado reaches second base. And now Carlos Gonzalez is up and he is going to strike out on that fastball. Just missed it. And so that is the end of the first inning for the Rockies. Now Ryan Braun up to bat in the bottom of the first in the tool for Milwaukee today. And he is going to draw a walk off of John Gray after John Gray struck out the opening batter. Jonathan VR does walk Braun there. Now Eric Thames, welcome back to the MLB as he is going to double this one all the way to the gap. And Ryan Braun still has wheels. He is going to go first to home on that double. And so Eric Thames in his first game back in Major League Baseball in a couple years is going to get an RBI double to start out this game. And now Domingo Santana up to bat tried to chase one outside, but he held up just in time, and the umpire says he held up too, so he's going to draw a walk. And that is going to bring up Hernan Perez, and he is going to lash that one out into right. It was a very, very fast hit, though, so that is going to prevent the runner from scoring right there. It loads the bases now for recent signee Anthony Ghost with two outs now. He is going to lash that one out into right center. It's going to score Thames. The throw home, Domingo Santana is trying to get there, and he is going to be tagged out. And so the Brewers are going to be done with their inning, scoring two. Could have scored three, but instead exit with just two, but it's a 2 nothing lead. Trevor Story has something to say about that, though, as Junior Guerra had a really good day up to this point, and then he's going to give up this home run to Trevor Story. That's going to cut the lead in half for Milwaukee. And that was actually only the second hit of the day, so Junior Guerra doing a very good job at quieting the usually productive Rockies lineup. Now Jonathan VR up to bat later in the game and he is going to draw a walk and now Ryan Braun is up and of course Jonathan VR is going to take off and he is going to get in before the tag is applied Ryan Braun would later strike out the next batter Eric Thames would also strike out and now it's Travis Shaw and he's gonna lift this one it's right in between Blackman and Cargo and this one is going to land VR is gonna score Shaw is gonna be held at first and it is now a 3-1 game in favor of Milwaukee as they have once again given themselves a two-run lead in this one now Guerra is on the mound still, pitching to Charlie Blackman. This one's going to the wall, and Domingo Santana is going to run back for it, and it is going to be caught on the warning track. Nearly a home run for Charlie Blackman. It was almost a 3-2 game once again. And here, as you can see, the stat cast stats. Takes a little bit of a turn right here to get a better angle on the ball, and you'll see right here, according to the show track, a very good route efficiency of 98.1%. Now, as the stadium is getting a little bit of sunlight coming into it from one side and the other half is dark. Jonathan VR is after the bat and he is going to take this one out into left. That is going to be a double for him. So it puts a runner on for Milwaukee. Trying to get another insurance run here as they have been quieting the Colorado lineup pretty effectively so far. Ryan Braun is going to lift this one. Caught under it a little bit too much. But that's actually going to give VR the chance to tag up as the first baseman did not have a very strong arm. And so that at bat, even though it was just a flyout, was very, very productive as now it is going to be much easier to score the run from second. Eric Thames up to bat once again. He already has one RBI on the day, and he is going to have another right here. Two runs driven in in his return to the MLB. Eric Thames having a pretty decent day so far. Did strike out once, but when you guys see the final stats, you'll realize he was far from the only person doing that this afternoon. Guerra now pitching in the top of the eighth to Dustin Garneau in this one. 
Going to be a shallow fly right in between Eric Thames and Domingo Santana. And Thames cannot catch it. Santana has to pick it up. He throws to second, but it's too late to get Garneau. And so now there is a runner on second for Colorado as they are threatening with one out in the top of the eighth. Alexi Amarista comes in to pinch it off the bench. And he is going to take this one. And the second baseman, Jonathan VR, runs right past this one. That is going to be thrown home, but it is offline. And there's now a 4-2 game in favor of Milwaukee still. But Colorado gets one back. Now Charlie Blackman is up to bat. And he is going to take this one out into center. And that is going to be the end of Junior Guerra's day. A very good day. Really only allowed one run. He'll be credited with two, but it was really just an error by Eric Thames. Carlos Torres comes on to hopefully finish out this inning, and he is going to get LeMahieu to ground into the double play, so that gets out of the inning. And Junior Guerra is still on the hook for the win if Milwaukee can come out victorious. Now, Tali Flea is coming on. As you can see, the year he had last year, he is going to be the team's closer this season, but he is not starting things off well, as this is going to be Nolan Arenado taking a very rare walk. But Carlos Gonzalez is going to waste that good effort as Natali Feliz coaxes a double play right there. And so now Colorado with their last shot. Trevor Story is up to bat. And Natali Feliz is going to close this one out as Travis Shaw catches the hot shot at third base. And Craig Council and his Milwaukee Brewers move to 1-0 on the season after a very good start. However, even in a win, you're going to notice some of the problems that this team has. Junior Guerra turned in a gem of a performance, only allowing two runs, really only allowing one run. But the offense really struggled today despite scoring four runs as the team struck out a collective 17 times in 35 plate appearances, which is a strikeout rate of almost 50%. That's something that we're going to have to work on as a team, although we do have a lot of hitters that are going to strike out quite a bit. So I don't know if that's necessarily something we can work on with this current team, but we have to get better with that in the future. And we'll see if Milwaukee can start out kind of hot, riding the momentum of this first win. Have a good first week, maybe a good first month. Next episode of the Brewers franchise, we will recap the month of April and move into the month of May where we will be going on the road to take on the Pittsburgh Pirates in the first of four divisional series that we will be playing this year. That's going to do it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. See you next time for more Brewers franchise in MLB The Show 17.